So I'm back at the base and boom, look at this. We have here a new workbench at the base, if we can even call it a workbench. So when we click on it, this is called kitchen stove. Uh, let's throw in that thing inside and let's start fishing. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this time it will be easier because I seriously want to show you that it's totally easy to catch these fish that they aren't that hard. Like, oh, and we got a chest. Hopefully I will be able to get it. So here we go. We've gotten a chest. So finally, I will be able to show you how that works. Hey, yo, yo, guys, it is me. Happy Sorry Ken. Welcome back to last and it's level so right now i'm gonna be showing you off here the fishing event and just to clear a little bit of confusion this is early alpha access update it's impossible to get it but the global update will be out probably this week and today it's monday if i'm correct so in the next couple of days this update should be out for everybody if nothing goes wrong obviously so right now let's check out the fishing and i just want to say that fishing here is super epic and i was lucky enough here to get the winter location fishing because fishing Fishing is gonna spawn in all different locations. You will be able to get fishing close to your base. You will be able to get fishing like close to the oak zones and probably maybe if you're gonna be lucky enough, you'll be able to get fishing in that northern zone that I've got in here right now because that fishing is gonna be popping up in different locations. But again, I don't wanna waste here any more of your time. Let's just hop inside, let's start fishing. I don't know if I'm allowed here to show the fishing rod recipe or something, but I just wanna say that it's pretty okay. You'll be able to find it out yourself when update comes out. But now let's start fishing. So you just throw in there your rod and you wait until uh, you're gonna get like that sound clue or something and you will here we go as you saw that's what is going on so you'll have to okay so the fish just got away <laughs> that's it sorry the professional fisherman so as you saw there was that fish and there is that yellow bubble so you have to move that yellow bubble up and down according to where the fish is and that's how you catch them so here we go i have i'm trying here to move that bubble okay and we just got in a chest so we're gonna talk about chests a little bit please don't run away oh my god that it ran away <laughs> this is it's pretty hard right fishing is a bit hard and uh yeah, I'll just try my best to at least catch a couple of fishes and hopefully after- Okay, so we got here a golden fish. So golden fish is usually a pretty good fish. And it's not that easy to catch them. Sometimes fishes are gonna be easier to catch. Sometimes they're gonna be a bit harder to catch. Uh, but uh, this one is a bit annoying. I'm not gonna lie. It's probably gonna be impossible to catch them. Sometimes there are fish that are really impossible to catch. Like this one. I don't understand. How can you catch it? Like, it's really hard to move that yellow bubble. When the update will come out, you will see that yourself. That it is, like, impossible. Like, there is nothing I can do. When they, when they are moving this fast, you can only either guess or like whatever okay so i'm trying to catch it but i don't think i'll be able to catch it usually these golden fishes are harder but sometimes they're again easy as i said it's almost impossible to catch it can it stop moving like they said fishing is gonna be relaxing right it's not relaxing i just want to yell if i played it on my phone right now i will throw it out of the window <laughs> How am I supposed to catch it, dude? I don't want to let that fish go, but it's just too fast. It's seriously impossible. I don't know if I'm just a bad fisherman or it's seriously that hard. Like, what is the... That's it. It just got away. Like, I swear, there are easier fishes. Like, this is just one of the unlucky fishes that I got in. There are seriously way easier fish that you can catch. Like, for some reason, in this event, fish are really, really hard to catch. But most likely, you're going to get really good fishes. And obviously, I'm going to show you all the recipes with those fish that are there. Oh, so maybe this is going to be, again, the same fish. But it's almost impossible, guys. That bubble, it's impossible to catch. I really wanted to show off a good fishing event. How can you catch it? But it's almost impossible. Like, nobody will be able to catch it. It... It's, it's just rip. It's just seriously rip. Okay, so I'm trying to go move it up and down. Okay, soon it's gonna just fall down. Okay, the fish just got away. And uh, probably, okay, let's try to maybe go to the different spot because in this event, we've gotten here a couple of different spots. You can probably fish over here as well. So yeah, let's try to fish from this angle. Maybe that will be a bit better. But as you can see, it's super epic. Like fishing is definitely interesting, something different than we've ever had here in the game. And I don't really know the numbers, how many times per day that fishing event is gonna spawn, but I think you're gonna get like one fishing event at least every day. Uh, so, hey, that's pretty cool. And the fishes in the pond keep decreasing. So, I don't know how many fish you're going to be able to fish. Like, sometimes six, sometimes eight, sometimes less, sometimes more. And so far, I don't understand. I haven't caught a single fish here yet. This is so sad. Like, at the base, I already have a couple of fishes because I've already done a couple of here fishing events. So, I'll be able to show for you how we fished other stuff. So, don't worry. But, like, for some reason, this event is really hard. Like, it's impossible to catch any of these fishes. Either developers are going to change the difficulty of these events or they will do something else. But, like, seriously, it is impossible. I don't understand what else can we do. Like, you can see it moves, like, super quickly. And as you can see, that yellow bubble just doesn't move as fast as you can. Like, either you have to guess when it's gonna go, but when you guess, like, it's impossible. Like, it's really just annoying. Like, I would love to see a person who would actually be able to catch a fish here when it's moving here like this. 
Like, I'm, I just tried to guess that it's gonna drop down, and it dropped down differently. Like, wow. <laughs> like, it's so sad. I wanted to catch at least one fish for you here on the camera, but it's impossible, dude. This is so sad. I don't want to- I don't want to make you feel like this event is bad, because this event is really good. As you can see, it's not something super easy, but there are definitely easier fishes to catch. Like, these ones are really hard, so most likely they're either gonna be super big, because yes, there is the size of fish. I would love to at least catch at least one to show you. Uh, I I'm just giving up! I'm just gonna give up at this point. And also, I forgot to mention for you, I'm still trying- I'm still trying to catch this fish. Look at this, like, it just got away, whatever, so... I think every time I fail to catch a fish, one fish disappears from the pond, so there's only limited amount of fish in the pond here. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch at least one and show for you, but... If not, we're gonna go to the top and I'll try to catch fishes there from the top. And I think in the northern locations, you will need to have this armor, otherwise, uh, you will freeze here to death. At least, that's what I'm assuming. I mean, why would it spawn in the northern? So, it looks like we will be able to catch this fish. I don't want to scream too early, but, uh, I think this fish was a bit easier than the rest. Fishes, dude, no, like come back, mate. Like, come to my pocket, please. No, mate, look at that. We're like 90% done. Oh no, dude, no. Are you kidding me? It's getting away, mate. Like, oh my god. How am I supposed to catch it, please? It was almost done. I'm gonna catch you anyways. Like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm focusing here 100%. Like the Son Goku instinct, ultra instinct. You know what I'm talking about, right? Uh. I'm clicking it as hard as I can. Dude, like, I was almost done. I was almost done, mate. Like, what is going on? What kind of fish is this? Am I fishing sharks here? Like, it's impossible. Like, it's seriously impossible. Like, what is going on, dude? I'm, I'm, I give up. I give up on this. Like, I, I can't believe it. I, I swear there are easier fishes to catch. Maybe this event is the hardest one. But, uh, like, it's seriously just annoying. Like, this is not easy catching fish. Like, it's not easy. Uh, it's not easy at all. Like, I would love to see somebody catching it. Hopefully, they will reduce the difficulty because I don't understand, like... I'm just gonna give up on this fish one day. <laughs> this is just me literally video complaining on how hard it is to fish, but I swear, there are easier fishes to catch. Okay, maybe I have to focus. Well, whatever, that fish just got away. I'll try to go to the very, very top and I'll try to fish from over here. Maybe, nah, it looks bad, but whatever. Let's try to fish from this side, but it's super bad. I don't see anything. I don't like this spot. But, uh, we will see. Maybe that will help out. Okay, so we have here another fish. Please tell me I will be able to catch it, so... Nah, it's impossible. This one, we won't catch this one as well. It moves too quickly for your bubble, I think. Yeah, I mean, I would be fine if we got kind of fishes uh, once in a while, but, like, getting five fishes like that in a row... That it's like, it's impossible, it just seriously escaped. I did my best all I could and my weapon broke. Okay, so let's take here another fishing rod and let's try to fish here once again. And I think there's only like two fishes in the pond left or something. So, I mean, okay, boomer. We will see, we will see. Okay, so soon, soon I'm gonna pull it once again. Please let me fish, let me catch at least one fish. Okay, so there is a chest, right? So from that chest you can get various items. If I would, if I will gonna be able to catch that fish, I will be able to show for you how that works. Okay, so I don't have to let the fish go, otherwise that chest will disappear here as well. So I have to be very lucky with catching the fish and catching with that chest. But again, from that chest you can get like items uh, for your whatever it's called. Okay, so I just want to at least catch that fish because there is no way I'll be able to open up that thingy if I don't catch the fish. So I caught the fish, catfish. Finally, after forever and a little bit, after 84 attempts, I was able to catch this fish. And it says this fish had soft meat almost with no bones. The most important thing when catching catfish is not let it take you underwater. Yeah, no way. Also, these fishes are going to have different rarities. As you can see, there's that star and it looks like brown or something. Then there's blue quality fish and then there is like golden quality fish so i was able to catch this one okay there are still a couple of more fish it's in the pond so let's keep catching them baby and i don't know how that chest mechanic works like i do understand how it works you have to like catch that chest first of all and then you can catch the fish but like uh, on such a difficulty it's impossible like i don't think anybody could ever do it like it's just seriously just guess when the fish is gonna jump up and when it won't jump up but for now it's seriously impossible like it's pretty cool but uh, there are easier events. I think it's just because this is like winter location event, so it's a bit harder. Hopefully they will uh, change the difficulty for real. Unless I'm doing something wrong here, which I don't understand. Okay, so I'm trying to catch this one. I'm trying to catch this fish. It just doesn't work. As you can see, guys, that's it. Like, it's impossible. Like, I would love to seriously see a person who could catch a fish from there. Like, seriously. Unless they're gonna... I, I don't know. Even if you know the pattern, it's physically possible, like, in the game to move that orange bubble like that. 
Wow, well, that's a great event. Well, okay, there's another chest up the top, and in order to catch it, I'll have to move that yellow bubble to the top to break the chest and get that reward from it, but... Uh, I have to catch the fish at the same time. Wait, I'll try to maybe just catch that reward. I think fish is gonna just escape. Well, maybe at least I got the reward. No, I didn't even get the reward. I think that's it. And that's it. All the fishes disappear from the pond. So if I was maybe a bit more pro because maybe I just sucked here at fishing. I don't know. You would be able to catch like whatever seven, eight fishes. And otherwise you would have to get like this whatever burly. Just scatter it on the water to attract fish back to the pond. So I still do not know where to obtain this thing in the game. But hey, you can, if you get it, you'll be able to put it here. Boom. And you'll be able to get more fish. So I'm back at the base and boom, look at this. We have here a new workbench at the base if we can even call it a workbench. So when we click on it, this is called kitchen stove. Again, I do not want to show you the recipe of how it's crafted. You will be able to find that yourself when the update comes out. I don't want to hear spoil everything. But from how fishing works, you will be able to just figure out all the recipes yourself. So first of all, I just want to show you the recipes. I think it will be easier to understand how it works. So as you can see, there are a lot of and a lot of recipes and I here unlocked only two recipes. And all of these different recipes give you different buffs. And the fun part is that you will have to unlock these recipes yourself. So, for example, I unlocked this bottom recipe. The only recipe after you craft this kitchen stove that you unlock is going to be like that uh, sweet and sour perch. And the buffs that you get from it are going to be still thirst for a long period of time. So, let's say if you're going to catch your perch and you're going to add here that one berry, you're going to cook it, boom, and you'll be able to eat it. And you won't have to drink like for like whatever time. The better the fish, the longer that buff is going to last. So, for example, we have here three different rarity perches. So, that will be totally uh, perfect to go and show you. So, I believe that the, that the lowest quality is gonna be this like brown perch then we have the blue perch and then we have here the golden perch maybe there are different rarities but these are the only rarities that I was able to find so far and if I'm not mistaken different fish are gonna give you different time of buff so for example the golden rarity fish is gonna give you like 20 25 or maybe even 30 minutes buff but the lowest one is gonna give you like eight minute buff and this one is probably gonna be like something 12 or whatever minutes so the better rarity the longer buff will last and the most fun part here about fishing is that you will have to unlock all of those recipes yourself. So obviously after the global update comes out, a lot of players are going to be able to figure out here a lot of and a lot of recipes, but I still think that a lot of these recipes are going to take quite some time to figure out and you can literally just try yourself to see if you'll catch something, eh, what kind of recipe you'll get. So for example, I have a lot of these perches, right? So we can place inside one perch, boom. And do I have any recipes with perches? Probably I do, but whatever. We can place here inside one perch and uh, usually of how the recipe work here so we need carrots and mushrooms okay so i'll try to place here i don't have carrots okay so i'm back here with carrots so we have this thingy we can place now carrots and we can place uh mushrooms not more carrots so after that we click here on cook and it's gonna cook here for 30 minutes and we do not know what kind of result we will get here unless it finishes cooking so just for the sake of edutainment we're gonna skip this part and boom i was able to unlock here a new dish and perch stuffed with vegetables so very nice and no hunger for 20 minutes so literally just with this lowest quality perch i was able to get 20 minute buff so i can only imagine what kind of buff i would have gotten here with the golden perch probably it's gonna would have lasted like for 50 minutes or something so let's try to eat this and also yeah another big not kind of drawback or whatever but for now the only way to get that buff is to eat it strict away from that stove so wait let me get me a torch here because it's a bit too dark. So here we go. We have a torch at the base. <laughs> that looks a bit better. So the only way for you to eat this is strict away from the tor uh, from that kitchen stove. You're not going to be able to drag it to your inventory. So you will have to cook here something and either eat it and get that buff or just wait until you will want to eat that. So just for the sake of edutainment here, we're going to eat that thingy. Boom. And right now we have that recipe unlocked. Boom. This is going to be the second recipe. So again, you'll be able to screenshot these recipes and try them out there yourself at the base. And now when we go here to temporary buffs, we can see that there is that 20 minute buff that stills hunger for a long period of time. So 20 minutes, I won't be hungry. And maybe that's going to be useful for something if you're planning to do whatever. But there are seriously really, really great recipes. Like for example, this recipe that I used before I went fishing there, it increases the chance to fish up a chest. So it's really useful to get this buff before you go fishing. Let's say you cooked it up and you're just waiting until you're going to get that fishing event. Then as soon as that fishing event spawns, you're going to go eat that carp stuffed with mushrooms and they're just gonna get outside and you'll have a higher chance of fishing up that chest and don't worry fishing
matching isn't as hard as I just shown there because I think I was either unlucky or those northern events are really that hard. But I'm going to show you later a couple of clips where I fished a lot of and a lot of fish way easier and it wasn't that hard to fish that fish. And I just want to show you what happens if you do not guess the recipe because fishing here in this game is so weird that you can literally place whatever you want. Okay, so for example, we have here a salmon, right? We're going to place here one salmon and you can cook there whatever you want. You can, okay, can, oh, I thought you can cook here chopper wheels. Oh my God, I seriously was almost sure that you can cook here chopper wheels, but you can cook here fishing rods, right? You can cook here katanas, right? You can literally cook here a katana soup. And I might be a little bit crazy here, but uh, I want to show you how it's like to cook a katana soup. Like, the point is, the amount of items you can place inside of the soup here is ridiculous. Okay, I really thought that I'll be able to cook here the chopper wheel soup. That would have been really fun. But this is what we can cook, and just for the sake of edutainment. Okay, you know what? When we are talking about edutainment, let's go all out. Let's go all in. So I took a little bit more expensive recipes here. So we have here still salmon inside. And can I cook engine parts? Yep, indeed, we can cook a soup from <laughs> engine parts. Like, Obviously, we're not going to get anything there, but I just want to show you what kind of dumb recipes you can come up with. So you can only imagine uh, how hard it's going to be to unlock here all of these recipes. Because obviously, like, I'm not going to get here anything because after I start cooking here, I have to wait 20 minutes until it'll get something. I'm literally doing here salmon with engine parts, with steel, copper bars, and other stuff. So obviously, we're not going to get here anything. So just for the sake of education here, we're going to skip that. Boom. And after you craft it, you're seriously getting here something gross. You just throw it away and that's it. So the point is the chance of you getting here a proper recipe is really, really hard. So, okay, most likely there's going to be another salmon recipe that we can craft with carrots and mushrooms. So let's try to guess if that's possible. Okay, carrots, mushrooms, boom. We're going to cook that. We're going to skip that a little bit. Boom. And we got an, a, a new recipe. Very nice. So it's going to be 30 plus experience for killing a zombie for eight minutes because this salmon was like literally the worst quality. So it lasts only for eight minutes. I still think probably could have lasted a bit longer because I mean, eight minutes minutes, 30% buff to kill those zombies. Maybe fine, maybe no. I definitely think if you need to level up, it will be pretty cool. Like still, pretty awesome recipe just for the sake of education. We're gonna eat it here right now. So after that, there is a four thingy recipe and it looks like there is some sort of a can and I'm not sure if we have to place here an empty can. Most likely, not really. And we can only guess what kind of fish we will have to place inside. So I got salmon. I still didn't try to craft here carp. Or I mean, oh no, I did uh, get the carp. I didn't craft this bad boy pike. So I mean, I'll try to craft pike I'll try to add here some food like this. And I mean, I don't even know like what else can I try here? Like some maybe carrots, some mushrooms here and these things. If that's going to work, I'll be very happy. But most likely it's not going to work. It's going to cook here for 43 minutes. Let's do this, baby. Boom. And we got a fish stew. Probably maybe this is a bug or maybe no. And okay, let's check out on our stats here. I'm still not hungry. I have full health or whatever, but... Let's eat that up. Did I get any buffs? Oh, no. So these were two old recipes. I didn't get any new recipe. Basically, sometimes you can cook something that you'll be able to eat, but sometimes uh, you won't. Okay, so we have here a catfish and I mean, okay, let's just try to cook it again. Like, okay, there are again some more three thingy recipes and okay, I'll try to add some more carrots, some mushrooms to that guy and I don't think we'll be able to eat it anyways. Okay, we're just gonna cook. We're just gonna skip that thingy and catfish and side vegetables. Wow, didn't even know that that's possible. Increases the chance to find rare fish for 10 minutes. Okay, so we've just unlocked another recipe. Very, very epic, but as you can see, there's still a lot of other recipes and chance for failure is really high, but it's super fun. I can't wait until everybody's gonna be able to come up there with their own recipes and they will unlock something and we'll be able to use those recipes here for ourselves because after this update launches globally everybody who will be able to craft those kitchen stoves obviously they will start sharing the recipes that they've unlocked and one day we will unlock all of those recipes and I just can't remember what recipe there is but I've heard that there is a really cool recipe that will give you plus 10 protection like seriously it will give you like plus 10 armor so just imagine what kind of other recipes they can be there can be a recipe for more strength maybe it's gonna give you like 10 or 20 percent buff to your firearms or something because there definitely has to be some sort of a recipe like that so if you're gonna get let's say that recipe for firearms doing bunker bravo is gonna be a bit easier so then you'll have to do those fishing events to prepare for bunker bravo and as you can see this game just expanded really quickly and it became super fun but even like crafting that fish it's pretty easy 
easy. I just don't remember. Whatever. We're going to eat that fish. Boom. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, this might be this recipe. Okay, let's try to cook, baby. Okay, it cooks for one hour. So obviously, this is going to be something good. Let's craft that. Boom. Mix of fishes and plus 10 armor for eight minutes. So let's actually be careful and let's check it out. So we have right now 43 armor. We can eat that thing. Boom, baby. And we have 34. Wait, it was 43 speed. I don't know. Well, we have 34 armor right now. Okay, so I see here the mix of fishes increases armor. So definitely, I don't remember what kind of thing we had. Wait, if I remove all of that stuff, we have still 10 armor. Yes, guys. So it definitely does work. We can equip all of this. We have, I believe we can even equip now here this Kevlar armor and we're going to have 48 armor. So literally probably 48 armor is maximum you can get here in the game. So I definitely think it will be really useful if you want to go outside and do that bunker. Bravo, you just craft this fish, obviously with better qualities, not with like the worst quality ever that I've just crafted here. And you'll be able to go to that Booker Bravo with more armor. So this is the thing that we've unlocked. Very epic. And as you can see, there's still a bunch of a bunch of other recipes that you can unlock. And the chance of failure is high. But at the same time, chance of success is pretty sweet. So welcome back to another fishing event. And hopefully this time it will be a bit easier. As you can see, this is not winter location. So maybe we'll be able to catch some cool fish. So inside we can even see what kind of fish there are. Okay, let's just try to zoom and let's check out how it looks like. And I mean, this pond looks very epic. It's... It's awesome. I love it. I love Last Dinner definitely became way better. So whatever. Uh, let's throw in that thing inside and let's start fishing. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this time it will be easier because I seriously want to show you that it's totally easy to catch these fishes that they aren't that hard like they were last time. So most likely that was just winter location and fishes there are really rare, really good, like with really good quality or some unique fishes. And here we go. We've just gotten a carp, 29.9 pounds. And it just totally comes here to our inventory. And it's a blue quality carp. So as you can see, See, it's definitely easier to catch those fishes. I think just the first event that I've seen there was really, really hard. But these events now are going to be a bit easier. So let's start catching, baby. More fish. Let's go here to the very, very top. Boom, 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 boom. Will I be able to catch it? Yes, indeed. We got another perch, a half a pound. And uh, yeah, it's way easier this time to catch them. I don't even know if I have like 10% chance of getting better fish or something. I probably should have cooked something to get a higher chance of getting that chest or something just to be able to show you how that chest thing works. But in any case, how chests work here after you catch the fish, you'll be able to catch the fish. And at the same time, you will get whatever resource that was inside of that chest. So sometimes that might be like a captain card. Sometimes uh, that's going to be something like a camera, at least those two things that I have fished out of a pond. So camera and a, a captain card, I believe. Maybe captain card or maybe it wasn't captain card. I don't remember, but that's what you can get. I know for sure that you can get here a camera from the thing, but whatever. Here we go. We've gotten here another carp and there are still a lot of and a lot of other fishes in the pond. So this is what we have already caught. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, let's keep going. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch something really unique and rare. And I still do not know what if I've caught here all fishes, if I've seen here all the fishes in the game. But I do know that there are some really, really, really... Oh, no. I definitely overswung whatever. Uh, let's try to catch it. And I don't know if I've seen all the fishes. That's just what I'm trying to say here. But as you can see, it's way easier to catch them here right now because this event is easier. So I think every day you'll have different uh, strength, different difficulty events. That's what I'm trying to say. Sometimes they will be really hard. Sometimes they will be easier. Oh, and plus, as I already mentioned, there are skills for the events. So like, for example, there's fishing skill. You handle a fishing rod better by 10%. You'll have to get this skill. And at the same time, boom, there's the fisherman skill. Your skill for fisherman and you know how to make a fishing rod. And I think you will need this uh, fishing skill in order to be able to get that fishing event. So I'm wishing good luck to everybody to get that fishing event, the fishing skill but at least right now leveling up in the game here makes more sense because I mean at the end of max level you will be able to get all the skills and leveling up really isn't that super hard just do bunker alpha baby and you will level up so I just still want to go and fish here the rest of the fish out of this pond Oh, and we got a chest. Hopefully, I will be able to get it. So here we go. We've gotten a chest. So finally, I will be able to show you how that works and what kind of thing we're going to get. Okay, we got a perch. And at the same time, uh, what else have I gotten, please? And we got strong alcohol. Epic. And as you can see, it transferred here to my inventory. Let's try to fish another one. I also don't think we have to equip the fishing rod, but I do equip it. But I think even if we do not equip the fishing rod, it's going to transfer here to our hands automatically because we have it in our inventory. So that is Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so let's probably catch, uh, catch here the last fish that we have. And this is going to be golden fish. Okay, very good. Hopefully, it's not going to escape. Because even sometimes there are hardcore fishes, even in this kind of easier event. But hey, 
Let's try to go catch it. As you can see, it tries to escape, but again, that's still possible. That is still doable. That is still definitely doable. And we caught the carp here. Max level, baby. Boom, boom. And okay, just for the sake of memes, let's try to go to the lower side of the pond. And we're going to try to catch one fish from over here, from this side. And most likely that's going to be like whatever other fish. So how many fishes we've caught here? Well, a lot. We're going to count them a bit after now. I just want to go and catch it. Oh, and we've got to get here another chest. Please tell me that I will be able to get it. So we're going to go just like this. I'll try to go and tap here on the chest, baby. That's what we are going to do. Well, at least in this even... No, don't run away. No, no. I failed. I failed. <laughs> I wanted to get the chest and I failed. But again, getting those chests when they are so high, it's really impossible. I don't know. But it's definitely fun. As you can see, fishing events are really awesome. Awesome. And wait, I think that is just gone right now, right? Yeah, 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 that's it. No more fishes in the pond. Okay, so while I'm back at the base, we can figure out maybe one more recipe, but I don't think it's gonna be that easy. Like, there are a lot of other recipes. Like, what is the last one? Like, how we are supposed to figure that out? I have no idea, but I do know that it is gonna be pretty interesting. So maybe let's try to craft here something with pike. And like, I don't know, like, I don't even know if... Uh, like, there are so many chances. Like, there are so many other options that you can craft with it's like it's it's fun it's really fun like i said just waiting for the update to launch on global and then we will know what's going on so there are a lot of recipes where you, uh, where it requires four uh, pieces of different food so maybe i'm just gonna add like this berries and this thing and what else do i need like mushrooms right let's add mushrooms let's try to cook that bike thing let's try to skip it and we just got a fish too so it's still edible i believe but it literally doesn't do anything okay whatever so let's eat that did it restore something oh yeah it just restores your food and hunger fully probably but that doesn't give any other like recipe sometimes you're gonna cook something gross but sometimes you're gonna cook something awesome and i don't know dude how we are supposed to cook here something oh and at the same time i'm kind of an idiot because here we can place five thingies to the cooking place but the recipes here that we see are only four so i'm most like an idiot and i shouldn't have uh, filled up here the entire place that's how you're getting a stew, so you don't have to put here too much. Okay, so this is another recipe that I'll try to craft. Maybe I already tried it today, but okay, salmon, beans, and uh, carrots with mushrooms. Maybe that is going to work. This is probably going to be the last recipe for today, and let's see if we'll get something. And we got salmon soup, baby! Boom! Cyric the smart uh, baby, a uh, boy! I'm very proud of myself. We literally just guessed another one. Uh, okay, 10% uh, to the chance to get an extra log for 10 minutes. That is beautiful. Finally, we figured out here a new recipe. So there is still a lot of and a lot of other recipes, boy. And as you can see, there is still a lot of recipes to unlock. We already unlocked, unlocked here a lot of recipes. So I was very happy that we unlocked this salmon soup. So yeah, but there is still a lot of other uh, things that we can unlock. Like, for example, this one, I don't think you can see, but the very, very top recipe here is like something in a square or whatever fish or something. Maybe it's going to be with turkey or whatever. But again, there's still a bunch of recipes to unlock, and I think uh, other recipes aren't going to be that easy to unlock. But as we see, most of these recipes require carrots and mushrooms. So finally, mushrooms have here a usage in the game, and I can't wait until we'll be able to find other recipes that will not only increase our armor, but that will also give us some more strength and more buffs to the firearms. So I highly suggest you checking out this video about Bunker Bravo or click on the second card and you will see a video on the new survival game. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs>